I think it's only fair that I uh, be real with you guys when I encounter triggers that uh, that bring me back. But on this healing journey, and I appreciate all you guys being on this healing journey with me, through all of your experiences, some greater than others, uh, some longer than others. One of the things that I, I learned about when I started researching narcissist, narcissism, narcissistic abuse, sociopaths, oh God, it's been a while now, it's been like eight months now. One of the things that one of the many things that I learned was narcissists will target special days, holidays, uh, special moments, special events to like to destroy them in your mind, to, to, to create trauma, to ruin it. So that like clockwork every year you will relive the abuse you went through. Um, so my birthday is tomorrow. I've never been big on celebrating my birthday. I've never really had... And people have thrown me like birthday parties before, but usually my birthday is, falls around a lot of other people's in the family or extended family. So it's always been kind of like a nephew and niece or cousin and Steve's party, you know? And uh, I had said that to my narcissist. I had said, excuse me, that narcissist, ex-narcissist. How much that meant to me. You know, I really wanted. And uh, so every year around her birthday or on her birthday, she would discard me for another guy she triangulated me with. And then would celebrate his birthday because his birthday comes a couple weeks before mine, I think. And then ignore me. And then come back usually toward the end of the month or something like that. Another thing is I'm, uh, I'm working out of town right now, so I'm in a hotel. And a lot of the times that I was with her, I was working over the road. I'd take her on road trips with me or I'd, um, I'd, I'd rent rooms out just to get her away from, from toxic people, right? Get her away from toxic people. Because I was hoping that would help. But she was the toxic one. And so, there's this, uh, this fog that came over me. It started yesterday. I didn't even realize it. Uh, maybe it was subconscious. And I do have a... There is a matter of my name being signed to something that <laughs> needs to get resolved that involves her. So the, there is a, a point of contact that needs to be made res regarding that issue. I mean, but even still... I, uh, I'm going through it, walking through this hotel, out of town, birthdays tomorrow, and now I got to fight those memories. Now I have to retrain my mind so that I don't allow myself to get thrown back into depression or, or loneliness or missing her you know that, that sick it's that sick cycle that that we go through god I just got deja vu like a mug <laughs> it's um I'm still in deja vu uh, it is it's something that we all go through. Uh, they do target special times because they know, like clockwork, every year those times are going to come around 
and they're hoping that that it will trigger memories that will keep you in anxiety or depressed or missing them or looking for <laughs> missing your abuser or, or, or you know, whatever the case is we all do it we all go through it I uh, didn't expect this because I've been pretty solid I didn't expect this to happen but I'm keeping my head up and I remember my worth and keep my boundary strong but I just figured given the, the context of this, this channel and the way I started it and the way I've shared my feelings in the past that it was worth me letting you guys know sorry it's like a low energy <laughs> video but it can't be it can't be high energy all the time appreciate appreciate the good moments and remember like this is because this is what I'm saying to myself right now this too shall pass this moment will pass and I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep trucking I'm gonna keep it real and I'm gonna keep it moving and I'm gonna keep growing and keep bettering myself and by next year it won't affect me at all know your worth y'all be good to yourselves be good to each other and suffer no fools